Uh, oh, I'll keep this really short. Um, 1980, so a little longer, almost 40 years, two more years. It'll be 40 years we've known each other. Um, what's interesting about being here and being a past honoree and walking into this room is that it's about friendship. That's the only thing this is about. It's about friendship. Friendships that are made when we're very, very young, and many of them that stay with us for many, many, many years. And that's something that you know, will outlast any show. Shows open, shows close. We've all been there. Uh, industrials. I was talking about, you know, when we did industrials before there was internet, you know, you had to sell a t-shirt or sell a pair of shoes. It was an industrial. Milliken. Oh, I mean, us. Or sunglasses. I got those gold sunglasses. Um, anyways, uh, Lawrence Loritz, who's being honored tonight, as I know him, and you should know him from this day forward, as Splits Loritz. Um, it's my honor to be here. Come on up and get your award, or what's next? You come up. You come up and talk. I came here because you're my friend. He's, we've been friends for 38 years. I don't think that's going to end anytime soon. So happy for you. Congratulations. We've danced. He hired me. He hired me to dance when I was, you know, tr just trying to pay the rent. It was 420 the rent back then. Uh, 420, two bedroom, two bath. Yes. Um, anyways, come on, come on. Talk about what he stands for dance over here. Mr. Loritz, oh my goodness. He has helped us with so many events, and uh, he's sort of like in the background saying, well, you know Jonathan. When he says Jonathan, that means he's really serious, you know? <laughs> or when I screw up or something, he'll say, Jonathan, my name was spelled wrong, you know? <laughs> it's something. Um, but uh, uh, for our Ruth Page event, he was really instrumental in getting everybody together, uh, the Balanchine event, because he is very strong in ballet. And uh, we couldn't have done these things without him. And he helps with PR and, and gives us a lot of insight into <clears throat> our PR people. And, uh, and we see each other a lot around socially, too. And uh, it's wonderful to see you and Joe and everybody together um, here. And we're so excited to have you here. Mr. Lawrence Loritz. Lawrence, Lawrence of Loritz, as I say. Okay. Yeah. You, want Jerry to come no, I, I got it. Uh, you got it? You got it, you got it. Okay. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is so awesome. I'm glad he left the microphone down for us <laughs> short people. Um I didn't prepare a speech. Oh wait a second. Um, I just want to say that there's no one that I respect more than dancers. Um, that's why this means so much to me. I've worked in all different areas of show business, dance being my main, um, my main gig. But I was once asked to write an article for one of the unions, and it was right before a career transition for dancers started. And they actually used my article as a basis to start the organization. And I said, you know, if you look at dancers' talents, their dedication, their memory, um, being able to think at the last minute, if you put them into the workforce after their dancing careers, they're going to be 95% ahead of 95% of the people applying for jobs, they're so smart. And like many dancers that I worked with have all become doctors and lawyers. And so anyway, that's why I love this award. Um, I would like to thank really the early people um, who helped me in my career. My first ballet teacher, Michael Sims in St. Louis, and my first tap teacher. Before I had any idea that I had anything to offer, <laughs> Hello, from the other side. <laughs> Our talent, you know, as a kid, these people saw this talent in me, and I grew up in a little small town in the Midwest like Jerry. And my mother said when she held me up at birth, 
She said, I looked into your eyes, I'm Oza the fourth child, and she said, you stared right back to me, right back into my eyes, and she said, it scared me a little bit, but I knew you were going to achieve something special in life. So I had this beautiful support, and I ended up in New York, and boy, my mother, I remember my mother telling me, she says, oh yeah, I just started my first year of college, and my mother says, oh yeah, well, you'll be home after, I came out on the scholarship to the Harkness Ballet, and she says, oh, you'll be home at the end of the summer, and I'm thinking, I don't think so. <laughs> and thankfully, I never had to go back home. And um, I guess that's it. I want to thank everybody here in Dancers Over 40, um, my friendship, with each one of you that I've been a member for like nine years has really touched my heart. And I love hearing everybody's story because we all have a different path, but it's magnificent. And I honor all of you tonight as well. Thank you. Thank you.